make sure to subscribe our channel to show us your support and press the bell icon to get notified about our future videos to the questions question 1 you have 2500 users who are assigned microsoft office 365 enterprise e3 licenses the licenses are assigned to individual users from the groups blade in the azure ad admin center you assign microsoft office 365 enterprise e5 licenses to a group that includes all users you need to remove the office 365 enterprise e3 licenses from the users by using the least amount of administrative effort what should you use our options are a the administrative units blade in the azure ad admin center b the set dash m sole user license cmd let c the groups blade in the azure ad admin center or d the set windows product key cmd let the correct option is b the set dash m sole user license cmd let this powershell cmd let is used to adjust licenses for users in the microsoft 365 admin center and can be used to add replace or remove licenses it allows for bulk operations when used in a script making it quite efficient for managing licenses for a large number of users question 2 hotspot your network contains an on-premises active directory domain services domain that syncs with an azure ad tenant you need to ensure that user authentication always occurs by validating passwords against the ADDS domain. What should you configure and what should you use? To answer, select the appropriate option in the answer area. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. To the answer area, configure. Our options are Azure AD password protection, cross-tenant synchronization, pass-through authentication or password hash synchronization. The correct option is pass through authentication. To our next statement, use our options are Azure AD Connect, Microsoft Identity Manager, the Microsoft Entra Admin Center, the Microsoft Purview Compliance Portal. The correct option is Azure AD Connect. Question 3 You have an Azure AD tenant that contains a user named Admin1. You need to ensure that admin1 can perform only the following tasks. From the Microsoft 365 admin center, create and manage service requests. From the Microsoft 365 admin center, read and configure service health. From the Azure portal, create and manage support tickets. The solution must minimize administrative effort. What should you do? Our options are A. Create an administrative unit and add admin1. B. Enable Azure AD Privileged Identity Management for Admin1 C. Assign Admin1 the Help Desk Administrator role or D. Create a custom role and assign the role to Admin1 The correct option is C. Assign Admin1 the Help Desk Administrator role Question 4 you have the Azure resources shown in the following table. To which identities can you assign the contributor role for RG1? Our options are A. User1 only B. User1 and Group1 only C. User1 and VM1 only D. User1, VM1 and App1 only or E. User1, Group1, VM1 and App1 the correct option is A. User 1 only. A group cannot be added as a member of role assignable group. You cannot add a dynamic user membership type. Question 5. Hotspot. Your on premises network contains an active directory domain that uses Azure AD Connect to sync with an Azure AD tenant. You need to configure Azure AD Connect to meet the following requirements. User sign ins to Azure AD must be authenticated by an Active Directory Domain Controller. Active Directory Domain users must be able to use Azure AD Self-Service Password Reset. What should you use for each requirement? To answer, select the appropriate option in the answer area. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. To the answer area, Authentication by the Domain Controller. Our options are 
federation with active directory federation services pass through authentication password hash synchronization the correct option is pass through authentication to the next statement sspr our options are device write back group write back password hash synchronization or password write back the correct option is password write back question 6 you have an azure ad tenant that contains a user named user1 user1 needs to manage license assignment and reset user passwords which role should you assign to user1 our options are a help desk administrator b billing administrator c license administrator or d user administrator the correct option is d user administrator d is correct neither of the other roles have permissions to handle all of the statements question 7 you have an azure ad tenant that contains the users shown in the following table you create a dynamic user group and configure the following rules in text which users will be added to the group our options are a user 1 only b user 2 only c user 3 only d user 1 and user 2 only e user 1 and user 3 only or f user 1 user 2 and user 3 the correct option is d user 1 and user 2 only according to operators precedents we can consider the following parentheses bracket on statement 1 dash and statement 2 dash and statement 3 bracket off or parentheses statement 4 so the results is the sub result of the first parentheses plus the result of the second one so it's d question 8 you have an azure ad tenant that contains the users shown in the following table you have an administrative unit named au1 group 1 user 2 and user 3 are members of au1 user 5 is assigned the user administrator role for au1 for which users can user 5 reset passwords our options are a user 1 user 2 and user 3 b user 1 and user 2 only c user 3 and user 4 only or d user 2 and user 3 only among these the correct option is d user 2 and user 3 only adding a group to an administrative unit brings the group itself to the management scope of the administrative unit but not the members of the group in other words an administrator scoped to the administrative unit can manage properties of the group such as group name or membership but they cannot manage properties of the users or devices within that group unless those users and devices are separately added as members of the administrative unit question 9 hotspot you have a microsoft 365 tenant that has 5000 users 100 of the users are executives the executives have a dedicated support team you need to ensure that the support team can reset passwords and manage multi factor authentication settings for only the executives the solution must use the principle of least privilege which object type and azure ad role should you use to answer select the appropriate option in the answer area note each correct selection is worth one point to the answer area object type our options are an administrative unit a custom administrator role a dynamic group a microsoft 365 group the correct option is an administrative unit to the next statement role our options are authentication administrator groups administrator help desk administrator or password administrator the correct option is authentication administrator question 10 hotspot you have an azure subscription you need to create two custom roles named role 1 and role 2 the solution must meet the following requirements users that are assigned role 1 can create or delete instances of azure container apps users that are assigned role 2 can enforce adaptive network hardening rules 
which resource provider permissions are required for each role. To answer, select the appropriate option in the answer area. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. To the answer area, role one. Our options are Microsoft.app, Microsoft.compute, Microsoft.management, Microsoft.security. The correct option is Microsoft.app. To the next statement, role two. Our options are Microsoft.app, Microsoft.compute, Microsoft.network, and Microsoft.security. The correct option is Microsoft.security. Question 11 Drag Drop You have a Microsoft 365 E5 subscription that contains two users named User1 and User2. You need to ensure that User1 can create access reviews for groups and that User2 can review the history report for all the completed access reviews. The solution must use the principle of least privilege. Which role should you assign to each user? To answer, drag the appropriate roles to the correct users. Each role may be used once, more than once, or not at all. You may need to drag the split bar between panes or scroll to view content. Note, each rec selection is worth one point. The roles provided to us are Global Administrator, Global Reader, Reports Reader, Security Operator, Security Reader, and User Administrator. To the answer area, User 1. The correct role for this option is User Administrator. To the next statement, User 2. The correct role for this option is Security Reader. Question 12. Your network contains an on-premises Active Directory domain that syncs to an Azure AD tenant. Users sign into computers that run Windows 10 and are joined to a domain. You plan to implement Azure AD seamless sign single sign-on. You need to configure the Windows 10 computers to support Azure AD seamless SSO. What should you do? Our options are A. Configure sign-in options from the settings app. B. Enable enterprise state roaming. C. Modify the local intranet zone settings. Or D. Install the Azure AD Connect Authentication Agent. The correct option is C. Modify the local internet zone settings. If you have noticed, the question states you need to configure the Windows 10 computers to support Azure AD seamless SSO. The catch is configure the Windows 10 computers. Question 13. You have an Azure AD tenant that contains a user named user1. You need to ensure that user1 can create new catalogs and add resources to the catalogs they own. What should you do? Our options are A. From the roles and administrators blade, modify the group administrator role. B. From the roles and administrators blade, modify the service support administrator role. C. From the identity governance blade, modify the entitlement management settings. Or D. From the identity governance blade, modify the roles and administrators for the general catalog. The correct option is C. From the Identity Governance Blade, modify the Entitlement Management Settings. Create and manage a catalog of resources in Azure AD Entitlement Management. A catalog is a container of resources and access packages. You create a catalog when you want to group related resources and access packages. A user who has been delegated the catalog creator role can create a catalog for resources that they own. Whoever creates the catalog become the first catalog owner. A catalog owner can add more users, groups of users or application service principles as catalog owners. Prerequisite roles Global Administrator, Identity Governance Administrator, User Administrator or Catalog Creator. Question 14. You have an Azure AD tenant. You need to bulk create 25 new user accounts by uploading a template file. Which properties are required in the template file? Our options are A. Display name, identity issuer, usage location, and user type. B. 
account enabled, given name, surname and user principal name. C. Account enabled, display name, user principal name and password profile. Or D. Account enabled, password profile, usage location and user principal name. The correct option is C. We need the name, the username, the initial password and whether to block sign in or not. That is account enabled. Question 15. Hotspot. You have an Azure ID tenant and an Azure web app named App1. We need to provide guest users with self-service sign up for App1. This solution must meet the following requirements. Guest users must be able to sign up by using a one-time password. The users must provide their first name, last name, city and email address during the sign-up process. What should you configure in the Azure AD Admin Center for each requirement? To answer, select the appropriate option in the answer area. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. To the answer area, statement, one-time password. Our options are a linked subscription, an identity provider, Azure AD privileged identity management, the external collaboration settings. The correct option is an identity provider. To a next statement, user details. Our options are a user flow, access reviews, an access package, the tenant properties. The correct option here is a user flow. First, you should enable self-service signup for your tenant and federate with the identity providers you want to allow external users to use for sign-in. Then, you should create and customize the sign-up user flow and assign your application to it. Question 16. You have an Azure AD tenant named Contoso.com that contains an Azure AD enterprise application named App1. A contractor uses the credentials of square brackets email protected. You need to ensure that you can provide the contractor with access to App1. The contractor must be able to authenticate as email protected. What should you do? Our options are A. Run the new dash Azure AD MS invitation CMD let. B. Configure the external collaboration settings. C. Add a WS dash fed ING provider. Or D. Implement Azure AD Connect. The correct option is A. Run the new dash Azure ADMS invitation CMD let. In this question, email protected is the ID of a user. A is the correct answer. They are looking for you to invite the user to Azure AD. Assume that unless stated otherwise, default configuration in Azure AD is set. So, collaboration settings are already on. By default, all users in the organization, including B2B collaboration guest users, can invite external users to B2B collaboration. If you want to limit the ability to send invitations, you can turn invitations on or off for everyone or limit invitations to certain roles. Question 17. You have an Active Directory forest that syncs to an Azure AD tenant. The tenant uses password authentication. A corporate security policy states the following. Domain controllers must never communicate directly to the internet. Only required software must be installed on servers. The Active Directory domain contains the on-premises servers shown in the following table. You need to ensure that users can authenticate to Azure AD if a server fails. On which server should you install an additional pass to authentication agent? Our options are A. Server 4 B. Server 2 C. Server 1 or D. Server 3 The correct option is A. Server 4 the standalone authentication agents can be installed on any Windows server 2016 or later with TLS 1.2 enabled. The server needs to be on the same Active Directory forest as the users whose passwords you need to validate. Question 18. Drag drop. You have a new Microsoft 365 tenant that uses a domain name of Microsoft.com. You register the name Contoso.com with a domain registrar. You need to use Contoso.com as the default domain name for new Microsoft 365 users, which 
four actions should you perform in sequence to answer move the appropriate actions from the list of actions to the answer area and arrange them in the correct order select and place the actions provided to us are delete the contoso.onmicrosoft.com domain add a custom domain name of contoso.com set the domain to primary create a new txt record in dns successfully verify the domain name to the answer area the correct options in the right order are add a custom domain name of contoso.com create a new txt record in dns successfully verify the domain name set the domain to primary question 19 you have an azure ad tenant named contoso.com you need to ensure that azure ad external identity pricing is based on monthly active users what should you configure our options are a a user flow b the terms of use c a linked subscription or d an access review the correct option is c a linked subscription to take advantages of monthly active user billing your azure a tenant must be linked to an azure subscription question 20 your network contains an active directory forest named contoso.com that is linked to an azure ad tenant named contoso.com by using azure ad connect you need to prevent synchronization of users who have the extension attribute 15 attribute set to no sync what should you do in azure ad connect our options are a create an inbound synchronization rule for the windows azure ad connector b configure a full import run profile c create an inbound synchronization rule for the active directory domain services connector or d configure an export run profile the correct option is c create an inbound synchronization rule for the active directory domain services connector the connector name is active directory domain services connector or adds connector question 21 you have an azure ad tenant named contoso.com that contains an azure ad enterprise application named app1 a contractor uses the credentials of email protected you need to ensure that you can provide the contractor with access to app1 the contractor must be able to authenticate as email protected what should you do our options are a run the new dash az ad user cmd let b configure the external collaboration settings c add a ws dash fed identity provider or d create a guest user account in contoso.com and this question among all these options the correct option is d create a guest user account in contoso.com question 22 you have an azure ad tenant that contains the following objects a device named device 1 users named user 1 user 2 user 3 user 4 and user 5 five groups named group 1 group 2 group 3 group 4 and group 5 the groups are configured as shown in the following table how many licenses are used if you assign the microsoft 365 enterprise e5 license to group 1 our options are a 0 b 2 c 3 or d4 the correct option is b2 it is because nested group do not inherit licenses question 23 drag drop you have an on-premises microsoft exchange organization that uses an smtp address space of contoso.com you discover that users use their email address for self-service sign up to microsoft 365 services you need to gain global administrative privileges to the azure ad tenant that contains the self-signed users which four actions should you perform in sequence to answer move the appropriate actions from the list of actions to the answer area and arrange them in the correct order select and place the actions provided to us are 
sign into the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Create a self-signed user account in the Azure AD Tenant. From the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, add the domain name. Respond to the Become the Admin message. From the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, remove the domain name. Create a TXT record in the Contoso.com DNS zone. To the answer area, from these actions, the correct options in the right order are Create a self-signed user account in the Azure AD Tenant Sign in to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center Respond to become the admin message Create a TXT record in the Contoso.com DNS zone Question 24 You have an Azure AD Tenant that contains the objects shown in the following table which objects can you add as members to group 3? Our options are A. User 2 and group 2 only B. User 2, group 1 and group 2 only C. User 1, user 2, group 1 and group 2 or D. User 1 and user 2 only or E. User 2 only The correct option is E. User 2 only Tested in lab environment Mail enabled security group can only be managed in the M365 Admin Center. In AD, you can't modify the membership. Some groups can't be managed in the Azure portal. In the M365 Admin Center, only users can be added to the mail-enabled security group. You can only add licensed users to the group. Unlicensed users won't even show up on the member select page. Correct answer is definitely E. Question 25. You have an Azure AD tenant named Contoso.com, you plan to bulk invite Azure AD business to business collaboration users. Which two parameters must you include when you create the bulk invite? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. Our options are A. Email address B. Redirection URL C. Username D. Shared key or E. Password the correct option is A and B, email address and redirection URL. Required values are email address to invite, the user who will receive an invitation, and redirection URL, the URL to which the invited user is forwarded after accepting the invitation. If you want to forward the user to the My Apps page, you must change the value to https column double slash myapps.microsoft.com or https column double slash myapplications.microsoft.com Question 26 You have 2500 users who are assigned Microsoft Office 365 Enterprise E3 licenses. The licenses are assigned to individual users. From the group's blade in the Azure AD Admin Center, you assign Microsoft 365 Enterprise E5 licenses to the users. You need to remove the Office 365 Enterprise AT licenses from the users by using the least amount of administrative effort. What should you use? Our options are A. The Identity Governance Blade in the Azure AD Admin Center B. The Set Dash Azure AD User CMDLet C. The Licenses Blade in the Azure AD Admin Center or D. The Set Dash Windows Product Key CMDLet the correct option is C. The Licenses Blade in the Azure AD Admin Center. You can unassign licenses from users on either the Active Users page or on the Licenses page. The method you use depends on whether you want to unassign product licenses from specific users or unassign user licenses from a specific product. Note there are several versions of this question in the exam. The question has Two possible correct answers The Licenses Blade in the Azure AD Admin Center or the Set Dash M Sole User License CMDLet. Question 27 You have a Microsoft Exchange organization that uses an SMTP address space of Contoso.com. Several users use their Contoso.com email address for self service sign up to Azure AD. You gain global administrative privileges to the Azure AD tenant that contains the self-signed users. You need to prevent the users from creating user accounts 
in the contoso.com azure ad tenant for self service sign up to microsoft 365 services which powershell cmd let should you run our options are a set dash m sole company settings b set dash m sole domain federation settings c update dash m sole federated domain or d set dash m sole domain the correct option is a set dash m sole company settings self service sign up it is a method by which a user sign ups for a cloud service and has an identity automatically created for them in azure ad based on their email domain azure ad cmd let set dash m sole company settings could help you prevent creating user accounts with parameters allow email verified users when it is true users can join the tenant by email validation and allow ad hoc subscriptions which controls the ability of our users to perform self service sign up question 28 you have an azure ad tenant that contains the following objects a device name device 1 users named user 1 user 2 user 3 user 4 and user 5 groups named group 1 group 2 group 3 group 4 and group 5 the groups are configured as shown in the following table to which groups can you assign a microsoft office 365 enterprise e5 license directly our options are a group 1 and group 4 only b group 1 group 2 group 3 group 4 and group 5 c group 1 and group 2 only d group 1 only or e group 1 group 2 group 4 and group 5 only the correct option is b you can assign licenses to any group created within the azure ad portal these can include security groups microsoft 365 groups and either assigned or dynamic groups you can even create a dynamic device security group and assign e5 licenses to it which doesn't make sense but it's true tested however the missing bit of information is whether the microsoft 365 groups have the security enabled attribute set to true only m365 groups that have the security enabled attribute set to true can have licenses assigned to them if the group is created in the m365 admin center then the security enabled attribute is set to false and you cannot assign licenses to the group but if the m365 group is created in the azure ad portal then the security enabled attribute is set to true and you can assign licenses for the answer i would make an assumption that because this is an identity related exam testing us on azure ad topics that the m365 group were created in the azure ad portal and therefore have the quote unquote security enabled attribute set to true which means the correct answer is b all groups question 29 you have an on premises network that contains a legacy app named app 1 you have an azure subscription you plan to publish app 1 and provide cloud access you need to ensure that microsoft entry users can authenticate to app 1 by using multi factor authentication what should you do first select only one answer our options are a create an app registration for app 1 b deploy an microsoft entra application proxy or c deploy microsoft entra connect and sync user identities between on premises active directory domain services and microsoft entra tenant the correct option is b deploy an microsoft entra application proxy if you have on premises legacy applications published for cloud access then one of the prerequisites is to deploy an application proxy if you have a cloud only identity environment with modern authentication then you need to create the app registration but in this case we have an on premises network you should only deploy microsoft entra connect and sync user identities between the on premises and microsoft entra environments in the case of hybrid identity scenarios which is not the case here question 30 you have a hybrid microsoft entra tenant you plan to implement self service password reset and enable password write back you need to identify the end user operations that will be supported what should you identify select only one answer 
द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज सी वॉलेंट्री पासवर्ड चेंजेस एंड पासवर्ड रिसर्च बाय यूजिंग द पासवर्ड रिसर्च पोर्टल ओनली वॉलेंट्री पासवर्ड चेंजेस एंड पासवर्ड रिसर्च बाय यूजिंग द पासवर्ड रिसर्च पोर्टल आर बोथ सपोर्टेड ऑपरेशन यूजिंग द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट ग्राफ एपीआई टू डू ए पासवर्ड रिसर्च इज नॉट ए सपोर्टेड ऑपरेशन क्वेश्चन थर्टी वन यू हैव ए माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एंटरटेनमेंट ऑल यूजर्स सेन इन टू विंडोज इलेवन डिवाइसेज दैट आर माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एंट्रा ज्वाइंट यू आर प्लानिंग टू डिप्लॉय मल्टी फैक्टर ऑथेंटिकेशन यू नीड टू रिकमेंड एन एम एफ ए ऑप्शन दैट अलाउज यूजर्स टू साइन इन विदाउट यूजिंग ए मोबाइल डिवाइस विच एज यूर एम एफ ए शुड यू रिकमेंड सेलेक्ट ओनली वन आंसर अवर ऑप्शन आर ए द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट ऑथेंटिकेटर ऐप बी टेक्स मैसेजिंग और सी विंडोज हेलो फॉर बिजनेस द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज सी विंडोज हेलो फॉर बिजनेस आफ्टर एन इनिशियल टू स्टेप वेरिफिकेशन ऑफ द यूजर ड्यूरिंग एनरोलमेंट विंडोज हेलो इज सेटअप ऑन द यूजर्स डिवाइस एंड विंडोज आस्क द यूजर टू सच ए जेस्टर विच कैन बी बायोमेट्रिक सच एज अ फिंगर प्रिंट और ए पिन द यूजर प्रोवाइज द जेस्टर to verify their identity windows then uses windows hello to authenticate the user both the microsoft authenticator app and text messaging require a mobile network to be used question 32 you are planning a self service password reset process for a microsoft entertainment which verification method are administrator accounts prevented from using select only one answer our options are a emails b mobile app notifications C mobile phones or D security questions the correct option is D security questions administrator accounts cannot use security questions as a verification method with SSPR emails mobile phones and mobile app notifications are options that can be used for all users including administrators question 33 you have a microsoft entertainment named contoso.com you plan to implement microsoft entra multi factor authentication which primary authentication method should you use select only one answer our options are a fid02 security key b oath hardware token c oath software token or d voice call the correct option is a fid02 security key out of the choices listed only fid02 security keys can be used for primary authentication the other authentication methods can serve as a secondary mfa or be used for microsoft entra self service password reset question 34 you have a microsoft entertainment that contains a user named user1 and uses entitlement management you need to ensure that user1 can add microsoft sharepoint sites to a catalog the solution must follow the principle of least privilege which role should you assign to user 1 select only one answer our options are a application administrator b cloud application administrator c office apps administrator or d sharepoint administrator the correct option is d sharepoint administrator Question thirty five. You have a Microsoft Entertainment. You have a partner organization named Contoso in cooperation that has a Microsoft Entertainment. You need to add Contoso as a connected organization. Which two authentication methods can Contoso users use? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Select all answers that apply. Our options are a authorization code flow, b client credentials flow. C direct federation or D one time passcode the correct options are C and D that is direct federation and one time password direct federation and one time passcodes are valid authentication methods for a connected organization client credentials flow and authorization code flow are both o auth flows and are used for application authentication Question thirty six. You plan to deploy a new enterprise app. Your compliance team has a PDF document that contains the terms of use that must be accepted by users 
before they can access the new app. What should you configure? Select only one answer. Our options are A. A conditional access policy B. A multi-factor authentication registration policy C. A sign-in risk policy or D. A user risk policy The correct option is A. A conditional access policy To enforce acceptance of the terms of use, you must create a conditional access policy, a user risk policy, a sign-in policy and an MFA registration policy do not allow you to force acceptance of the terms of use. Question 37. You have an Azure subscription that uses access package assignments. You need to create an access review for the access package assignments. Which blade should you use in the Azure portal? Select only one answer. Our options are A. Access reviews B. Entitlement management or C. Privileged identity management the correct option is B. Entitlement Management Entitlement Management is used for access package assignments. Privileged Identity Management is used for access reviews for Microsoft Entra roles and resource roles. Access reviews is used for group membership and connected apps. Question 38. You need to identify all the access reviews that have a denied decision for a Microsoft 365 group. Where can you get this information? Select only one answer. Our options are A. Microsoft Entra Audit Logs B. Azure Subscription Activity Logs C. Conditional Access or D. Microsoft 365 Defender The correct option is A. Microsoft Entra Audit Logs Access Review Activities are recorded and available in the Microsoft Entra Audit Logs. You can filter the audit data by category, activity type, and date range. The activity logs do not provide records from an access review and Microsoft 365 Defender shows security related information and actions, not access reviews. Conditional access allows you to use an access package, but it does not show information about access reviews. Question 39. You have an Azure subscription that has auditing enabled. You need to query the audit logs and download the results. Which two formats can be used to download the results? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Select all answers that apply. Our options are A. CSV B. JSON C. TXT or D. Windows Event Logs The correct options are A and B, CSV and JSON. Microsoft Entra supports JSON and CSV formats for a download but does not allow TXT or Windows event logs. Question 40. You need to use a Log Analytics workspace to produce reports based on a Microsoft Entra audit log. What should you do first? Select only one answer. Our options are A. Configure the diagnostic settings in Microsoft Entra B. Create an activity sign-in report C. Provision logs or D. Query the Microsoft Graph API The correct option is A. Configure the diagnostic settings in Microsoft Intra To produce reports with log analytics, first, Microsoft Intra audit logs must be sent by using the diagnostic settings. Provisioning logs or an activity sign-in report will not send audit logs to log analytics and the Graph API provides result to specific REST commands but it does not send audit logs. 